This is Acadiana's News Channel at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Jim Hummel. And I'm Marcel Fontenot. Festival International gets underway tonight in downtown Lafayette. Oh, it's so exciting. The largest international music festival in the U.S. transforming downtown into an entertainment mecca. Our Megan Glover is joining us live from festival right there at the stage. Megan. And Jace Damon. Yeah, hey Jim and Marcel, big things going on downtown, one of my favorite festivals actually. Now this morning, I have to tell you all, I woke up with a little extra two-step, maybe tapped my foot a little more this morning, listening to Zydeco music, and people are at home probably like, girl, we do that every day. But something about Festival International Week brings things just a little more spice to the week. So I'm actually on the side of the Faye Dodo stage, we're going to get a pan here, and they are starting to prepare for the performances tonight, starting at 6.30, Chubby Carrier and the Bayou Swamp Band will start things at 630 and then following shortly after will be the nightcap performance of the night by Chris Ardwan at 815 him in the new step Zydeco and I'm actually going to bring in our meteorologist Bradley Benoit wish we would have kind of matched shirts this time but hey well look <laughs> festival only comes like once a year so you really have to embrace it all you have to dress the part and I'll probably grab some food on the way out we'll see but yeah just embracing festival we're excited to be out here of course we talked to some restaurants here uh, downtown earlier and they tell us that uh, they're gonna be open for business however if you want to use their restrooms you have to be uh, a paying customer if not they are gonna charge a fee but even if you don't want to do all of that they're gonna have plenty of uh, restroom stations set up all around downtown for your convenience and uh, as far as volunteering, of course, festival can always use volunteers, and uh, they're still accepting those. And uh, for more information on how you can get involved in volunteering, you can head over to our website, kdc.com. Megan. And right, Bradley, I mean, last year was the first year since the COVID right. hiatus that people were back. So, of course, people are excited, and they'll be back bigger and better this year as well. Now, I spoke with some of those volunteers when we first got here, and they talked about some of the things that they did implement coming into last year's festival and some things that they decided to keep, maybe like how they do the top-up wristbands. Um, they told me that was an easier, quicker process yeah. for people who are coming out here to buy those wristbands. Now, as far as coming out here, festival is free. However, if you want to buy your food, your drinks, your apparel, you will have to go to that pop-up station, load some money on there, and there you go. Now, we'll have some more housekeeping tips coming up later tonight at 6, but for now, I'm going to hand the stage over to Bradley Benoit <laughs> for his first forecast. Yeah, that's right, Megan. Of course, uh, one of the big, big parts of festival is that weather forecast. And uh, honestly, out there uh, this evening won't be too terribly bad. Let's get a look at those temperatures here across Acadiana. Most of us pretty much uh, in the upper 70s to lower 80s, so quite mild. Uh, and it is going to be mild through the course of this evening and overnight tonight. And we have seen a couple light raindrops fall as we've been out here. Power Doppler 3 indicating that we have a couple pop-up showers. Nothing too terribly bad, nothing that's going to spoil the fun. Uh, but we do have storm chances increasing a little bit later on tonight. Here's the high resolution rapid refresh model showing storms entering the state after about 2 o'clock in the morning. They should be rolling through Acadiana close to daybreak, give or, two an hour, uh, give or take an hour or two depending on where you are in Acadiana. Also a low end risk that we could see an isolated severe storm or two. Uh, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that. Rob is going to be talking more about that severe weather threat in his uh, full weather forecast in just a little bit. Now the good news, the bulk of the activity should start to wind down by the afternoon hours. Can't totally rule out maybe a few spotty showers, uh, but again, uh, shouldn't be anything uh, too terribly bad. And with any luck, we'll stay rain free for the performances uh, tomorrow evening. Now, as if you are heading out this evening, again, temperatures will be falling through the 70s, should bottom out somewhere in the, uh, we'll say, upper 60s to near 70 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's the 24-hour forecast, and again, uh, we are looking at storm chances pretty high first thing tomorrow morning through about mid-morning, but then by the afternoon, things will start to settle down just a bit. So, of course, Rob is going to be talking a little bit more about that, and he'll have uh, the full tribute forecast coming up in just a little bit. That's going to do it for us for now. We'll be back for another live hit at 6 o'clock this evening. I'm Jim and Marcel. I'm going to send it back to you guys at the Thanks, Bradley and Megan. Now the work is underway to get the main stage, send LUS International ready for its debut tomorrow. I was out there earlier today as crews were installing the stage and lighting equipment. The first performance at the main stage is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. The opening ceremonies are set for 9, 
followed by this year's headliner, Lauren Daigle, at 9.30. Well, if you are biking to festival this year, there's a free place for you to park your bike. The LCG Bike Lafayette Parklet is in front of the main library on Congress Street downtown. You can park for free, but donations to Bike Lafayette are encouraged. This year, the bike corral is going to be located in front of the main library uh, in this little parklet area in a closed down section of Congress Street. This is a, a, a cooperative effort between uh, Bike Lafayette, LCG, and Trail. Uh, bike Lafayette is providing all of the labor and uh, logistics. Trail is providing all the bike racks, and LCG is providing all of the uh, barricades and security. If you don't live within biking or walking distance of downtown, the shuttle service is an option. The service starts tomorrow. The shuttle goes between Cajun Field and downtown every 15 minutes. The shuttle is free, but you do need to pay to park at Cajun Field. It's $15 per car, and, pardon me, and they only accept credit or debit cards. For all things festivals, we have your back. Just head over to KTC.com.